Hello everybody. It's day 109. How you like the new hat? Drink raw. Drink naked raw juice. And then the raw food Kippo Master. Just some hats I'm experimenting with, so you know, I'll have some hats or apparel available later in the future. So it's day 109. Um, I'm gonna have two bananas. Uh, yesterday I only had one banana, um, so I'm still working on videos and results and things like that. So, but this morning when I got up after I drank my uh, liter of water, I had about a handful of uh, raisins. Um, I thought that would be good to eat some soaked raisins. I soaked them and uh, then had like a handful of raisins. So. Um, just to kind of get my stomach going again and I thought I would have two bananas uh, today and then uh, tomorrow I'll probably you know like eat an orange probably still may have a banana uh, I'm gonna change up some I'm gonna do some juices but I was gonna do a green juice but then I was gonna take some avocado and put it into a blender and make a smoothie out of it with an avocado blended up in it. Uh, just kind of give something a little thicker or more of a smoothie type thing. And um, I may experiment with like a small salad tomorrow. I may go get a, uh, a uh, organic uh, head of iceberg lettuce, which is a little, you know, not more, not, it's not so nutritionally complete, but it's not as heavy as like trying to do like spinach or uh, uh, arugula type salad, you know, just something to experiment with, you know, like tomatoes, just something very, very basic. So, but, banana. Mmm, it's really good. You know, it's, it's, ooh. <laughs> um, it's really strange how your palate changes, you know, after you haven't consumed any food in 107 days. It's, uh, it's really bizarre. Mm. But, and using a fork, um, that's a little strange too. But I was in the grocery store the other day and I ran into an insurance agent that I hadn't seen in a while that I know. Um... And he's like, well, you look really good. What have you been doing? And I was like, going, well, I've been doing a 100-plus day juice fast. And he's like, it's awesome, isn't it? And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I know all about that. And blah, blah, blah. And we started talking and, and come to find out. He started like two years ago, but he's uh, he's not 100% raw, but, you know, he does wheat and wheatgrass and barley grass and all sorts of different supplements. And we talked for quite a while, and it was really cool because it was kind of like, there's someone else in this damn town just like me, you know, and um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get with him and his mother, uh, his mother's late 70s maybe, but she is a two or three year cancer survivor, a colon cancer survivor with juice, no chemo, no surgery, she used juice. So I'm trying to get that set up so I can interview her because I think that'd be an awesome video to interview somebody that had cancer and beat it with juicing. So that'll be an interesting little video to do. So, hmm. Ah, oh, that's good. But last night, after I shot my after videos, I kind of went and saw a friend and showed him the results because I hadn't seen him in probably like 60 days. But I was driving around town and I noticed that this place, there was this place called Primeal Nutrition here in Chickasha. And uh, I was like, well, what's that all about? So I cruise in there and I'm like, what's Primeal Nutrition? She's like, oh, well, we do shakes, nutritional shakes, all nutritional shakes. That's all they do. So they make these shakes and they put this... Uh, <clears throat> supplement in it that's supposed to be completely nutrition, blah, 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 help you lose weight, blah, 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 blah. And they've been open for about two weeks. And I was like, 
dang it, somebody stole my idea. But it's, they didn't really steal my idea because, you know, I was thinking more like the Barefoot Market, you know, salads, all-natural smoothies, juice bar type thing. So I um, got to talking with her, and she's this college student, and she does a paleo primal diet is what she's on. And uh, she's sitting here trying to sell me on this. And I'm like going, look, you know, I just did a 107-day 100 day juice fast and lost 100 pounds. So she's like, oh, wow, yeah, you look really good. And she's like, what are you, about 32? I was like, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm, no, I'm 40. But, you know, I'm trying to talk to her and tell her things. And she's also a personal trainer. And, you know, she was, you know, we were having a good dialogue. And, you know, she's telling me how she eats, you know, high protein, low carb type thing. And, and I'm like going, so uh, eat a lot of meat, a lot of fish? She goes, oh, yeah. I'm like, you cook it? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like going, well, you do know, you, you know, when you cook something, you lose all the, you know, a lot of the nutritional value and 50% of the protein. She's like, what? Well, well, how's that? How's that work? And she just got real defensive and real indignant. And I'm like going, it's, you know, a fact. You can you can Google this. You, you know, go to the World Health Organization. They they have all the scientific information. Well, well, how's that work? Well, how's that work? Well, how's that work? I'm like, well, how does Google work? <laughs> like, really? And, I, and I'm looking at her, and she's got acne. And she's got a lot of makeup caked on her face to cover up the acne on that she's got on her face. So her skin's not that great. And I'm just like going, wow, you really don't get it. So, but, you know, I was nice to her. I wasn't ignorant. You know, I told her about my next plan, you know, and how I'm going to be, you know, you doing a plant-based diet to lose, you know, the rest of the weight and put on muscle. And she kind of acted like, you know, that's not going to work. And, you know, she actually asked me, where do I get my protein? Where do I get my amino acids? I was like, are you kidding me? Uh, spinach is a more complete protein and amino acids and vitamins than what your cooked meat is. And she's like, oh, that's not true. And I'm like, oh, really? go, go, go look up the nutritional information. You do it right now. Go pull up a steak, look at the amino acids or ground beef, look at the amino acids, and then go look up what one bundle of spinach would be. You know, like 340 grams of, of spinach. So, <clears throat> anyways, I'm not trying to change her way of doing whatever, but, you know, I'm not using any supplements. I'm still not going to lose any supplements. The next challenge, I thought about trying to find a sponsor, you know, some like vegan protein type thing to use. But I think it'd be funner to not use a supplement or have a sponsor and prove that you can do it. Not with just bananas, but with a plant-based diet. So, you know, so, but this is two days after my fast and still juicing, of course, but just slowly adding in some food. Tomorrow I may push it with a light salad, you know, it may take about three or four days, maybe five, you know, I'm still going to juice. I mean, I'm never going to stop juicing, so, but thank you guys, and good stuff, but anyways, you got to do what's right for you. You know, this girl thinks, you know, and she, she kind of turned me off because, uh, you know, I, I'm looking for a personal trainer to do my body fat analysis for my next challenge. So uh, she may have blown the opportunity to be able to do, make a little money off me by doing body fat analysis. So, you know, we'll see. But I'm the Raw Food Kimpo Master. Have weapons. Fight. <laughs>